Fortnite's reload mode promises faster paced action and the opportunity to revisit locations that are no longer available in the regular map. My question is, does this mode play better than the original on older GPUs? To get my answers, I used my recipe voice to summon the Cape Verde family of cards. The HD 7770, the top performer of these entry-level cards, using a 6-pin power connector to satisfy its 80 watts TDP. The HD 7750, a cut-down version that gets away with no power connector, but also without 128 of the shader cores. And the R7 250, built on the Olin GPU, that just happens to have the same render configuration as the Cape Verde LE. You know, pure coincidence. The cards were placed in the same Z230 workstation that you know and love. Well, maybe that's a stretch. It has the Xeon equivalent of the i7-4770 and 32GB of DDR3 RAM at 1600MHz in dual channel. At 1080 resolution, performance mode and rendering distance set to far, none of the video cards provided an acceptable level of performance in the current season's Battle Royale mode. The Beastie HD 7770 could not average above 60, never mind having the 1% lows above that mark. As for the slower cards, they stood no chance. In reload mode, however, the 7770 provided a high refresh rate experience with averages above 130fps and 1% lows in the 90s. The lower performing cards averaged in the 90s but their 1% lows were not something to be desired in a competitive online game. The performance improvement in the average FPS is difficult to ignore, anywhere between double and triple the FPS. Lowering the resolution to 1600x900 improves performance. In the mainstream battle royale mode, the HD7770 averaged 80 FPS, but the 1% lows in the low 40s are still not good enough. The HD7750 and R7250 performed almost identically and unfortunately inadequate with similar averages in the high 50s and 1% lows in the high 30s. In reload mode, all three cards are now capable of delivering a high refresh rate experience. The HD 7070 averages 168 FPS and has the 1% lows above 120 FPS. The HD 7750 averaged 125 FPS and runs above 90 FPS for the 1% lows. And the R7250 almost averages 120 FPS with the 1% lows in the high 80s. The trend is maintained all the way to 720 resolution. The regular Battle Royale mode has the HD 7770 finally providing a good experience with the average FPS above 100 and the 1% lows in the high 50s. The slower cards however still struggle with the 1% lows in the high 40s, low 50s, despite the average FPS hovering around 80. And as you've guessed it, in reload mode, the performance is a lot better. The HD 7770 now averages above 200 FPS and has the 1% loss metric above 130. And both HD 7750 and R7250 averaged 162 FPS and creep towards 120 for the 1% loss. One behavior that I did expect is for the R7250 and HD 7750 to behave almost identically, which they did. What I did not expect is the 2 to 3 times the performance uplift when playing reload mode. However, this was to be expected if one looks at the size of the map. It is much smaller. Add to that the limited maximum number of players of just 40, and that should paint a better picture as to why reload plays so fast. I'm intrigued by this game mode. The faster pace has its pros and cons. People who enjoy exploring will not like it that much, while players that want to be able to get into the action quickly and stay in it will love it. Whether this mode will die after the novelty factor wears out, or if it succeeds to the point of splitting up the community, it remains to be seen. As for this video, we're done. I hope you liked it and I'll see you for